Hi, welcome back to Lesson 14. If you watched Lesson 13, you remember we went through a big, hairy, complicated formula called Get Pivot Data. And in Lesson 14, what I want to do is show you a simple alternative when you don't need to lock into a specific cell and keep it there no matter what. But what you do need is a simple formula that's easy to copy and paste and move around. If you remember, we got this 21.9% when we wanted to know the percentage of the accounts receivable. And I think we were looking at Hilo. See, if you look up here, we were looking at Hilo divided by the total. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back up to the top. So Hilo's at the top. And remember, the way we got this formula was we just did equals, and we arrowed over to that, and we divided by, and then I'm just going to mouse click down to here. And that's how we got the 21.9. And remember the 21.9, when you copy it down, it's always looking at Hilo divided by the total, and so you keep getting 21.9. Next door to that, I want to show you the alternative. If you want a formula you can copy and paste, let's assume you want to know the percentages of all of these. What you can do is rather than arrow over, you can say, hey, look, this is cell G12 and this is G17. So what we're going to do is I'm going to type equals G12 divided by G17. I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock in G17 as an absolute reference. We'll talk more about that in another uh, video. Hit return. And now we're going to format it. Here's another trick if you've never used it. This little thing over here, this little button is called the Format Painter. Pick a cell you like, the way it's formatted, click the Format Painter, and it's formatted the same way. So there we are, 21.9, 21.9. We're looking at the same thing, Hilo divided by the total. But now watch what happens when I drag down this lower right-hand corner. Now I get formulas that move. This, Let's pick this one. Is now G15 divided by the total G17. And it's a simple way to get formulas that you can easily copy and paste. If you want to lock in, use get pivot data and make sure that I'm always looking at Hilo no matter what. Now, if let me, it might be easiest to see. Let's delete these three and then watch what happens. Let's sort, well, we'll sort the total and we'll do uh, A to Z instead. Now, look what's happened over here. See, this 18.5% is looking at, I'll show you, G12 divided by G17. It's always looking at G12 divided by G17. So if you want a formula that's always going to look at Hilo, you want to use get pivot data. If you want a formula that you can copy and paste around and always looks at what's in G12 and divides it by what's in G17, rather than use pivot table, you want to manually type in equals G12 divided by G17, and that will allow you to have a formula that you can drag around and copy and paste. And it also moves when the, the data moves, where this one locks in and holds still. I hope that's uh, an easier video than Lesson 13. And it's a good workaround. When you don't need the complexity and the locking in of get pivot data, just type the formula in yourself. Don't arrow over, don't mouse over, because Excel will put the get pivot data formula in there for you. But if you type in equals G12 divided by G17, that will get you a formula that is relative and that will move when you need it to. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.